Is this on? Are we ready? All right. Hey you. Yeah, you. If you're here, if you've clicked this video, there's a good chance that you've heard about crypto. Even more recently, you've probably also heard about DeFi as well. But even if you haven't heard of it, the information I'm about to provide you might be important for you. But before we start, I just want to let you know that down in the description box, there's going to be a handy set of acronyms that I'll be mentioning throughout this video. So without further ado, let's jump right in. In DeFi, there is an ever-growing list of fancy terms. You'll find things like Ethereum, APY, TVL, DAO, DApps, Stablecoins, CEX, DEX, and just a plethora of other words. At some point, even the most seasoned veterans of crypto can be confused by some of these terms. DeFi could be considered as a umbrella term, referring to different tools and services in the blockchain that aim to recreate traditional financial instruments, but in a decentralized manner, removing the middlemen altogether. DeFi could also be considered as the natural progression or even the fulfillment of the vision that kickstarted the Ethereum project, or at the very least, it's a huge step towards the permissionless economic world first envisioned by its creator, Vitalik Buterin. And although many of the protocols currently considered as DeFi had already been around one way or another in the past, what's new for DeFi for about a year now is that these protocols are finally being developed in a truly decentralized manner not controlled by third parties. Right now, DeFi is mostly controlled by smart contracts, and it works thanks to the participation of the crowd, which is you, us, and anyone interested in doing so. However, nothing in life comes without a catch. DeFi is no exception to this. When you dive into DeFi, you can quickly see how the sheer multitude of options available can be overwhelming. So, while immensely profitable, and potentially less risky than betting on the success of volatile crypto assets, DeFi, when taken to its most lucrative extreme, is mind-bogglingly complex. So, what do we offer? Here at YieldApp, we've made it our mission to eliminate this complexity by offering a product that allows everyone to benefit from this new financial system. In times of unprecedented economic turmoil, we intend to establish a safe haven for investors and savers built on these new financial tools to try and make them as accessible as traditional savings accounts and investing packages. With YieldApp, you simply deposit a supported asset, select an investment fund, and watch your savings grow over time. But the APY that we offer users does not come out of thin air. A way to think about it is just like when you provide liquidity to a bank when you make a deposit on their account and then they make use of economics of scale to make the money grow if you have a savings account except that with higher yields and available for everyone thanks to the aforementioned financial tools now you know what yield app is about if you want to learn more about us make sure to visit our site yield.app before you go just wanted to thank you for watching this video until the end as you can see, this is a new initiative, so make sure to leave your feedback in the comment section below. Any topics that you'd like to see discussed in video format like this is also welcome. My name is Anthony, and that's all we have for you today. Until next time, keep yielding everybody.